a whole lot of people let their currencies sit capped for weeks and weeks at a time. Heck, I do this with my poetics, even though I know I'm throwing away money by doing so. But when it comes to grand company seals, you really have no excuse. After all, you don't even have to think about it, thanks to what is essentially an in-game lottery, where you can win tens of millions of gil with no real effort. The entire thing is easy to miss and buried at the end of a long list, plus expensive and potentially confusing if you've never bothered to Google what it's all about. But if you go to your grand company and you rank it up, go to your vendor and scroll to the bottom of the pages, you'll find two items that cost 20,000 seals each. Material Container 3 and Material Container 4. For those who don't know, these contain tradable mounts and minions from previous expansions. 3.0 has mounts and minions introduced in A Realm Reborn or Heavensward. 4.0, meanwhile, contains a random mount or minion from Stormblood. There isn't currently an equivalent for Shadowbringers or Endwalker, so don't worry about that. I call this whole system a lottery, even though it really isn't one, because most of the items in these are worth next to nothing. Under a thousand gil each, usually. If your goal is to make the most efficient use of your shards and turn them into gil, this is not the best way. Most of the time you will get absolute trash, just worth nothing. But it is periodically a good way to clear out your seals, and at the very least, it's a decent way to complete your collection of mounts and minions that you're never ever going to use. So, as we start to dive into the specifics, please keep in mind that the trade economy is constantly changing. This time last year, even things were very different, something I'll touch on in just a second. So your decision is to decide which lottery you're going to play. Container 3 or Container 4. Let's start with Container 3. In this one, there are a total of 84 minions and just two mounts. To help give us some context around the odds, I figured I'd break down both containers and give you an idea about how much gil landing a top 10 top five and most valuable item, essentially hitting the jackpot, is worth to you. For container three, the 10th most valuable item is the Nutkin, which recently sold for as low as 8,000 gil on the America servers, which just goes to show you how much of this is filled with utter trash. If you jump up to fifth, you'd get somewhere around 37,000 gil. Again, not fantastic, better than nothing, still probably not worth the spend in seals. In fact, Container 3 has always been like this. Nearly all of the value is at the very top. Of the two mounts, the Zoo Horn isn't bad at almost 100,000 gil, but it's the Knight Pegasus Jackpot, which I recently got, at 13 million gil that is truly what you're hoping for here. This is essentially gambling. You could certainly get more gil for the number of seals you're spending, at least until you finally hit that jackpot. But who knows how long that will take. I'm honestly not sure, because for the long time I've converted my seals to money as efficiently as possible, never really bothering with the jackpot. But once I got my submarine set up, I switched and just started gambling. Why not? I don't really need the money. I have four 500,000 coming in per day easily with the ships without even trying to do anything. Why bother trading and crafting and all that stuff? I can just wait. But is all that optimized conversion of seals to gill more than 13 million? I'm not entirely sure. And again, keep an eye on prices because for a long time I would have recommended container 3 for those looking to strike it big. But in the current economy, container 4 is the right way to go in every single situation. Why? Well, for Container 4, there are only 51 minions, which is 30 less, and only 4 mounts. And while the 10th most valuable item, the Capybara Pup, is only worth 3,000 gil, it does climb pretty rapidly from there. You go to 25,000, 75,000, 160,000, 360,000, all the way up to 420,000 for the 5th most valuable item which is much, much better than Container 3, right? 
And keep in mind, when I list these prices, these prices are the lowest selling point out of like the last 15 trades. So this is like as cheap as you can get. There might be cheaper listings. There might be more expensive listings. It all depends on your server. But I just wanted to guarantee you like a minimum on the American servers as of today. Following those, there are three of the four mounts, the Elder's Horn, Eurekan Petrol Horn, and the Dodo Horn, all of which currently sell for around three to four million gil. But how much is that jackpot worth? As I mentioned earlier, for a long time, the Knight Pegasus was far and away the most valuable item in either container. It's almost always been worth than 10 million gil. And for a long time, Container 4 had nothing worth more than that. But in the last year or so, the copycat bulb minion has caught and surpassed it. With a jackpot of 15 million gil, it's currently correct to be buying Container 4 over Container 3 every time. Not only is the jackpot better, not only are there fewer items, but all of the items that are there are all worth more money than their equivalents in Container 3. So if you're fond of the Jumbo Cackpot, and love to see if you've suddenly struck it big every week, you might just want to try your hand at the material containers. And unlike optimizing your seals to gill ratio, you don't even have to think about what's the highest value or what's selling the fastest. You can just crack open each one and hope you're suddenly a few million gill richer. In the meantime, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment for this video's question. Would you want me to do a Grand Company Seals to Gill video, teaching you the most efficient ways to turn all of these into money? Let me know. It's definitely a different task than just gambling and hoping on this lottery. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon linked in the description below. Would super appreciate any of your support. For now, though, I think that's it. I'll see you next time.